to do? You should have called me now. I've been calling you, calling you, calling you. Eh? Well, you did not hear me. I just went to hang the laundry. Yeah. I want, I want, what, what do you want? I want, you want? I want to be strong for my son by the time he comes so that he will know that, yes, I am really progressing. I want to be strong for him. I want to be strong for my son. Mm, you want to be strong, strong for him, please. But you know it's a gradual process. You don't have to rush it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 So we we'll just try mm -hmm. gradually. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Madam, mm -hmm. just sit. Mm -hmm. I should sit down. Yes, sit. I should sit down. Mm -hmm. Okay. But try and help me. Try and help me. I want to be very strong for my son. I want it's, when he comes, let him see that we are really making progress. It's eh? fine. It's, it's, you don't have to rush it now. Mm? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. from at this time of the night. I'm coming from Mrs. Coker's and the, the traffic. Traffic. Is this the time a responsible woman should be coming home from work? If that thing you do is even called work. Hmm? Come here. Don't let me repeat myself. Do you know you're a very useless, stupid woman? I let you work with the understanding that you'll come home before me, prepare and serve my dinner. But no. Um, Shut up! Town gallivanting, selling your body. I've never. Done I said, that. shut up. If you move an inch, Nancy, I'm off to work.
pay. You have told you to stop stressing yourself whenever you come here. I can always order food. Now, see, you hurt yourself. Baby, it's nothing serious. It's just a little cut. This is gonna hurt. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. And you never cease to amaze me. Always working yourself to the ground. I have told you before, you are not my maid. But, baby, you should know I enjoy doing these things for you. As you know, I don't like seeing you overwork yourself. I just want to take care of you. That's so sweet. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> you see, now you've taken care of me. <laughs> Still hard. It's okay. I'm trying to make food that will last you for the week so you don't grow hungry. How many times have I told you? Don't stress yourself. But this is not stress. It is. And when we eventually get married, mm -hmm. you wouldn't have to touch anything. Hmm? Smile now. Eventually. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. What can I help you with? Mm, nothing. Okay, that. <laughs> okay, it's cool. What's it Okay, let me help you with something. What's that? Oh. I should have it's packed okay. it, right? It's fine. That's your food, ma. While you eat, I'll just go attend to other things. Very professional. Aren't you going to ask me about the weather and my bones today? I'm so sorry, ma'am. Just a lot on my mind. I noticed it. Is there something bothering you? No, no. I'm just, just a bit distracted. Hmm. Um... Let you eat. Hmm. My best guess. Poor thing. She is married to a jerk. Hmm. Well. This is delicious.
Welcome. How's your day? That food better not be cold. I just dished it out. Um, would you like to have your bath first or should I? Can you leave me alone? Can you leave me alone? Let me eat the food. If I want to have my bath, I know where to go. Is it not my house? Eh? Yes, dear. I am very well. I miss you, girl. As you should. I bet you left me all alone here now. You know it's not like that, Grandma. Don't worry. I'll be back soon. Really? Or oh, you are just trying to pull this old woman's legs? Come on, Grandma. I mean it. I have eight weeks worth of vacation coming up. And how better to spend it than with my really as G. The coolest grandma in the universe. Hey, put your saccharine with that tongue. <laughs> I should be back to Nigeria in a couple of weeks. I can't wait. Really? Ah, that is good news. Danny, I want you to come back so that you can get married and give me beautiful grand, great grand babies hmm? before I go to meet my ancestors. Hmm? <laughs> Always with sharp retort. Come back home already, you stubborn child. Right. <sighs> See you soon. Till then, listen to your caregiver. Take your meds. And rest well. Always, dear. Bye bye, Grandma. Bye, dear. Oh, bye. Hmm. <sighs> My grandson will be coming home in two weeks. And I want you to get everything prepared for him. This massage, can't we double it? I want to stroll all over the whole place with him when he comes so that he can see that I am improving. So that he shouldn't be worried. Hmm? I will give you the list of the dishes he loves. So that you can know what to prepare for him during his duration here. Okay? Okay, Mama, I'll do as you say. And when he comes, Rita should take the month off. There is no need for her to sleep around again. My grandson will take over everything. Okay, Mom. Ah, are you not done with the massage? I want to go and rest a bit. Um, just five minutes more and I'll be done. Okay, I'm sorry. Thank you.
going to be a great mom. <laughs> my baby, in my tummy like this, like this. It it does suit me. <laughs> Maybe, just maybe, that might be the answer to my prayers. Sweet home. Yeah. Grandma, I'm home. I'm home. Ah, uh, wow. Um, welcome, hey. sir. Uh, thank you. Um, uh, let me help you. No, 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 don't worry. I'll, uh, I'll take it of myself. It's fine. Okay. Um, you must be Nancy, the caregiver. Yes, sir. Um, forgive my manners. I am Daniel. Uh, yes, um, Madame told me you'd be coming today. She has actually been anticipating your arrival, but she's in her room now resting. Oh, okay, um, that's fine. I'll just um, just drop my bag in my room and go see her. Oh, okay. And um, dinner will soon be ready, so I'll let you know when the table is set. Nice. <laughs> Smells really nice. I like the. Thank you. <laughs> All right, sir. All right. Uh, mama! Grand! <sighs> so good, man. It smells so good. <sighs> okay, okay. <sighs> Um, hey, come in. Sir, sorry, sir. The, the door was open. No, no, it's fine. Okay. Um, I made vegetable soup. I don't know if you would have preferred something else. No, vegetable soup is actually my favorite. Okay. I'm sure grandma must have told you that. <laughs> yes, she did. All right. So it's fine. Okay. I'll come down soon. Um, the heater. I, the, Nancy, I know my way around the house. Thank you anyway. Okay. Yeah. He seems so rude. He won't even let me finish his sentence. I knew it. I knew he's nothing like his grandmother.
Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> it took you forever before you could get here. Hmm? I know. I thought you were asleep when you wanted to stop you. Go <laughs> away, my dear. Ah, you're looking so wonderful. I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> look at you. You look 35. Not a day older. No, 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 I'm, I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. <laughs> Mm. I miss so, you so much. I do too. Mm. Although we have been talking every other day too. No, you. but it's not like seeing you in flesh and blood. I mean, oh, really? Talking on the phone is not the same thing. Video calls are not the same thing. <laughs> I just miss you so much. <laughs> you are welcome, my son. Thank you. So how was the trip? It was okay. It was pretty smooth. <sighs> I'm sorry I couldn't come to the airport to pick you up. You see, these brittle bones have been doing so much lately. Grandma, I said you look 35, not immortal. Okay, oh. so I get it. Yeah, immortal, I get it. Immortality <laughs> needs. <laughs> hey! <laughs> my lovely son. Come on, dear. Joko, Joko, Joko. Wow. You're welcome, my dear. Thank you. Yeah. Well, well, well. I have been there. I'm trying. Mm -hmm. I can see. Yeah. I can see. I can see. <laughs> Your nurse has been taking good care of you. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, Nancy, eh? Aside from being my caregiver, she's also doing all the household chores and very dutiful. Wow. Come, come, come. Let me go and introduce her to you. Come no, 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 I met her already. Oh, <laughs> really? I met her downstairs. Now tell me, what impression do you have of her? What impression I have of her? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She seems like a really kind person. Um, always ready to help out. Oh, good. She is kind, really. But sometimes very sad. Sad? How do you mean? <laughs> Nothing, my dear, never mind. Don't mind the rattling of an old woman. Mm. Oh, oh, no, I <laughs> so much. Oh, me too. Wait. Yes, come in. <laughs> oh, Nancy. Mom. Mom, dinner is ready and the table is set. Okay, my dear. We'll be downstairs shortly. Okay, and... um. I'm ready to close for the day. Oh, okay. Good night, dear. All right, ma'am. Uh, aren't you having dinner with us? No, no. I have to get back home before it gets late. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Good night, ma'am. See night, you dear. tomorrow. Okay. Looking so good. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Drunk. Please, your father that is drunk. Baby, it's 1 a.m. Oh, and you're so getting back home smelling like the floor of a bar. Did you even consider how scared I was? Who cares, actually? You are you. Oh, that's right. 
Alors, la chaîne, la cure, This... You're going to fall. The best thing that you fall. My head for war. Sorry. Take this should help with the hangover. Yeah. Yes. No, it's Nancy. My friend, get that thing out of my face, John. Do you think you found a way to poison me, Abby? I'm only really trying to help. Please. Why do you hate me so much? Why am I even here? Why did I sleep here? You came back drunk and you fell asleep here. I tried to help but I couldn't carry you. So you left me here? You left me in the cold now, Abby? Are you not a wicked person? I am not wicked. Are you? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Eh? Sorry, sorry. No, sorry, sorry. sorry, sorry. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Who gave you this? Sorry, sorry. You're holding my neck. Hey! Sorry! Sorry! You don't know your again, no, I remind you? I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I said, go back here! Ah, you are going with. Ah, ah, ah. You are going with Zabi! Hello? Come out! Oh, yeah! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You are mad. You can open your mouth to talk to me, Abby. No. I said I will kill you today. No. You grow wings, Abby. No. You grow wings, Abby. No. You grow wings, Abby. No. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No. So dressed, man. Life is beautiful. Good morning, my neighbors.
Hey, baby girl. Mm. Danny, what are you doing? Bringing my baby coffee. What about Nancy? Um, maybe she thought since I was here, she might as well delay mm. a bit. No, I know her too well. I hope everything is all right with her. I don't know. Do you want to check up on her? Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> It's ringing. She's not picking. Oh, I'm really worried now. I hope everything is all right with her. Uh, I don't think you should worry. I mean, you said she's married, right? Yeah, she's... She probably has some other responsibilities she had to attend to. No. No. Where could she be? What, what could have happened to her? Uh, you're, you're worrying too much, okay? You know what? Have your coffee. I'll go make us breakfast. Oh, what do you know how to prepare? Really, Granny? Really? I left this country only six years ago, so I still remember all the great delicacies you taught me. Thank you. I will make us breakfast and the entire neighborhood. <laughs> Wait, are you making just of me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you say. You say. Good morning, Nancy. Nah. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning, Nancy. I'm really sorry for coming to work late. I was just... Um... It's okay, it's okay. You can go and start doing other things. Danny Boy has made coffee. Oh, thank you very much, sir. No, no, it's okay. I'll just go tidy up the house. Okay. She doesn't look happy. Maybe she is tired. <sighs> it's okay. Have you taken yours? I am fine. You're okay. Or oh, you took some in the kitchen no, there? No, no, no. He's not going to make you. I'll make breakfast for myself. <laughs> Cook of the year. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Sir, lunch is ready, sir. Hmm, I see that. I actually came to get a glass of water, but since you're setting the table already, I'll just wait and have water at lunch. All right, sir. Mm -hmm. I'll serve the food now. Okay. I'll, I'll get grandma so that she can come and eat as well. Okay, sir. Mm. Um... Nancy? Sir? I know that you're trying to be official, you're doing your job, but can you call me Daniel? I mean, calling me sir makes me feel a bit too old. Oh, okay, sir. Oh. Um, Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> Much right. better. Thank you, sir. Okay, so I'll get grandma now. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> ah, this is nice. Ah, Nancy cooks delicious meal. Oh. At least you will fatten up a little bit before you go back to that. You're low, you bow as a bachelor. I don't understand, Grandma. Are you chasing me already? Oh, oh as if I can. <laughs> um, um, Nancy? Sir? Aren't you eating? I just want to clean the kitchen and I'll eat later. Oh, come off it. Grab a plate and join us. Eating alone is not fun. Come on, it's boring. Nancy, you heard him. Go on. Go and bring your plate. The cleaning can wait. Shut your Okay, ma'am. Come on, eat. Delicious meal. Danny boy. Yes, mama. I'm sure you will like it. Just 
put some in your mouth. Mm. <laughs> I did very good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this tastes so good. Okay. It's been a long time I had uh, ninja jollof, like real ninja jollof. Mm. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, good. I'm so glad that I thank you for all you're doing. Thank right. you. Thank you so much. Like, I see the effort. Oh, this, dear. I'm happy that when I return to the States, that grandma is in safe hands. <laughs> Foodie. I'm so happy that you have not changed when it comes to food. Always willing to sing. Oh, do you turn it? No matter, she's just teasing me. <laughs> Every opportunity to tease me, she takes it. <laughs> oh my! Hmm. A nice idea. Are you cold? You have been wearing this scarf since morning. I was gonna say the same thing. I was wondering. But it looks quite fashionable. Yeah. Looks like something you would see on the wrong way. Anyway, it's all right. It's okay. Uh, can, can you help me get my medicine from my bedside table? Okay. Hmm. What was that? Danny, sometimes you have to look around you. I don't understand. The question you asked her was embarrassing. Oh. Eh? She never liked it. She was a little bit jittery. What is wrong with the question I asked? I literally asked the same thing you asked. I noticed that she's being trying to scare as well. Uh, Grandma, you're acting weird. What's happening? Danny boy. Yes, Grandma. Eat your food and leave Grandma alone. That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I don't want to choke. No, 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 no. You won't. You won't. You won't. You won't. If your parents were to be alive, they would have been very proud of you, Danny. Mm. I miss them too. Yeah. Death. That has no mercy. But they'll be super proud of you as well. I mean, you raised a fine gentleman. Mm, and they'll also be disappointed in you because you have refused to give grandma grandbabies. No, 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 granny, no, no, not now. Not now with your great grandbabies, Jis. Danny, <laughs> you, you're old enough. You have a good job. Mm. And you have enough love to give. Why oh, don't you want to get married? Hmm? Maybe I've not found the right person. I mean, I've not found someone as nice as my mom. Maybe you are looking at the wrong places too. Or maybe they don't make them as nice as they used to anymore. Okay. Take a look for instance. Nancy. Mm. Eh? It is too bad that some people don't know what they have until they lose them. Ah. It's a pity that she had to find herself in this kind of position. Hmm? What position? Hmm. Anyway, she's nice. She's nice, but looks like she's the only nice person left around. Huh? <laughs> hey, Danny. How will you say that? Huh? Okay, be Numa. <laughs> mm, Danny, mm, promise me that you will get me your wife before you travel ah, again. No? Grandma, grandma, sorry, let me take this call. Um, hey, Pam, how are you doing? Well, it's, it's not like that. How do you even know I was in this country? Oh, I see. It's not like I didn't want to tell you anything, but I didn't see the need to. I mean, 
we're not in that space anymore. Couple of weeks. All right. Well, nice to see you again. Okay. Daniel, uh -huh. what is that weaver bed looking for again? Uh, eh? uh, <laughs> You were beddy. I mean, you know I don't like her. Eh? She lives a fake life. Have you forgotten how she, she, she decided to call off your relationship when you were traveling for the first time? Eh? Yeah. Don't let her come here. After all, she, I, I thought she should have been married by now. Well, man proposes, God disposes. Oh, thank you so far. Oh, I join you. <laughs> She's not that bad now. Mm. She's easy, you want grandchildren. Okay, promise me that you give me some before you go. Eh, hey, now with Pamela now. for someone who are you i'm the hey pam 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 how are you i'm good i'm good 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 skin popping roast popping yeah yeah everything hair popping come on come on come on come on it's so good to see you make yeah. yourself comfortable thank you oh who is she I mean, the lady that opened the door. Oh, Nancy. Um, she is here to help with grandma and, of course, a couple of other things in the house. Oh. What? Does she sleep here? No, no, no. She leaves every day and comes the next day. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, then I'm, I'm angry at you. What did I do? You just came and you didn't even tell me. I thought we were still friends. But I already apologized. Hmm? I'm sorry now. How many times do I have to say it? Okay, sorry. Sorry, sorry, Pam. Sorry, Pam. Sorry, oh, Joe, Pam. You know I can't be angry with you, Joe. You can't. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> I've missed you. Ah, me like too. Girl. <laughs> Where have you been? How else? How you left me now? How I left you? Really? Girl, you're the one who couldn't wait for me. You left me, literally. Stop that thing, Joe. You know how men behave now. When how they, they behave? When they go over there, you know, they just forget their women. Then they focus on other things. Really? And you know me, I can't share. I don't know how to share. So you're going to play the victim now? <laughs> okay. What's up for you, John? When are you going back? Oh, uh, when I'm going back uh, in a couple of weeks. I still have a couple of things to settle over there, so yeah. Oh. Okay. Aren't you going to come back home and settle down, you know? Spend some more time with your grandma. And um, speaking of your grandma, how is she? She's fine. Grandma is good. Grand, grand. Oh. <laughs> Is good and Nancy has been doing a really great job with her. Um, and about settling down, let's just say I haven't found the right one yet. Mm. Mm. Hey, Nancy, sir, are you leaving? No, sir, I want to rush to the market and get something. 
Oh, so do you want some money for that? No, 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 sir. Madam already gave me. Oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah. Um, Nancy. Sir? You are still going on and on with, with the sir, sir, sir. Um, I'm, I'm, now I'm feeling too old. I, I feel like I have gray already. I'm very sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I forgot. Dan, please just let her go. You know Lagos traffic. Let her, let her just go. Hey, come on, you, you can go. All right, sir. Uh, what's with all this familiarity? See what better she calls you, sir. Well, I don't just feel comfortable with it. I, I'd rather be addressed by my name. Mm. What I prefer. I see. Well, enough about her, Cherry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you remember Charles? Charles, which Charles? Charles. Um, no. Charles Biochemistry. Mm -hmm. Charles Ijemba Udemba. Udemba, yeah, <laughs> Yes. Charles is getting married in two weeks. Uh oh, oh, congratulations to him. Mm -hmm. So, I was thinking, since you're in town, mm. I thought we could go together. No, I don't want to attend any weddings. I mean, I'm trying to keep a low profile right now. Please, no. Hmm? Really? You're not going to stop until I accept? Oh, oh no, no way. Please, <laughs> no. Going. Please, <laughs> stop. Stop. <laughs> stop it. Stop. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's fine. <laughs> I told you we were going to go. <laughs> You know me hand, so well. You changed one bit, <laughs> one bit. You want something oh, to drink? God. Yes, yes, I want something oh, right, to I drink. Have a new bottle of wine, so I just got. Mm, I want the most expensive one, though. <laughs> the most expensive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How dare you ask me who Jennifer is? Why shouldn't I? Someone called while you were in the bathroom, introduced herself as your girlfriend, and you expect me to sweep it under the carpet. And bitch, because you went to go and pick a phone that's not your own now. What are you looking for there? She mean you found what you were looking for. You changed after marriage to someone I don't even know. Beating me, insisting we don't have kids. But if you think you will bring another woman into this house while I am still alive, you must be joking. Then just die now. Nancy, just die and let me have peace. Listen. I'm the man in this house. You can't tell me what to do. You're not the man I fell in love with. You're not the man I dreamed of a future with. Edward, what happened to you? You. You. What? I should have done better. After I married you, I just realized I really should have done better. Honestly. Really? Maybe you should go for someone more of your taste. Like, like Jennifer. Anyone is easily better than you. Just imagine yourself cleaning up after that old woman. How classless. You think that's my dream job? But guess what? No matter how stressful it is, or how demeaning you might make it look, that job is an escape. An escape from this home that no longer gives me peace. An escape from you. Go on. Go on, I hate me anyone. I'm not scared. Go on. I don't let go of my hand. Watch your tongue. I can do worse. You don't let go of my hand. You're hurting me. I can do worse than you can imagine. Let go of my hand.
Nancy. Nancy, this plantain is burning. Nancy. The plantain was burning. Uh, Mama, I put it up for uh, Come with me. Sit. Who did this to you? Nancy, I'm talking to you. Tell me who did this to you. Please just let it go. There's no way I'm letting it go. Who hurt you? Who? Please. Let it go. I don't want trouble. It's your husband, isn't it? Just let it go. I need to go make food for my mama. She needs to take her medication. Nancy. Nancy. Please, don't just interfere in my personal life. My job here is to take care of madam and that is where it ends. Fine. If that's what you want. Same thing. Maybe she was trying to hide bruises. Today she had a scar. that she found herself in this position. Wait. Grandma definitely knows something. She does. to tell grandma and yourself that lunch is ready. Oh, okay, so it's fine. I'll, um, I'll get grandma myself. Okay. Go ahead. All right.
You were talking to someone? Yeah, that was Nancy. She says um, lunch is ready. Oh, that is okay. Let's go and have lunch then. In a few minutes, Granny. Is there any problem? Um. The day that Nancy had his calf on, she was trying to mask a bruise. Isn't it? What do you mean? Grandma, don't be coy. Don't be coy. I know exactly what I'm talking about. She's been abused by her husband, right? Danny boy, please take my hand and bring me up. No, oh, no. Thank you. I want to take a stroll, please. Mm. A lunch? No, it can wait. It can wait. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Hmm. Grandma, you still haven't answered my question. Well, son, I thought we should not be nosy into other people's business. Grandma, how long? How long has she shown up to work with fashionable scarves just trying to cover up her scars? How long has she concealed her tears with smiles? How long has she put up with that beast? How long has she shown up to work heartbroken and dejected? How long have you noticed this? I, I mean, we cannot let this happen. If we let it slide, he can kill her one day. Come on. Hmm. My son, victims of abuse rarely speak out. Let me tell you. One week after she resumed her work in this house, mm -hmm. one particular day she came back to this house with a black eye. When I asked her, she mm -hmm. told me that she walked into the wall. Lies. Someone did that to her. Another time it was her uncle. Eh? She doesn't even know that I notice sometimes that she does cry. She doesn't even see anything wrong with what is happening to her. Eh? Ah, this is so annoying. This is so annoying. This is so annoying. Danny, why are you mourning more than the bereaved? Why are you taking this personal? Look, my dear, it is none of your business. Mama is wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong to hit a woman. It's wrong to even hit anybody for that matter. Of course, son, I agree with you. But if the victim of an abuse has not decided to leave the abuser, there is nothing you can do to help her. Hmm? Anyway, have you asked her? Yeah. I saw the bruises on her wrist and her face, but I asked her and she shut me down. Oh, of course, yes, she has to, because on one hand, she was embarrassed. On the other hand, she felt that if you should intervene into the situation, you will make things worse for her. I can't let that bastard go scot-free. No way. Danny. Do you love her? Well, of course not. I mean, she's someone else's wife. Oh, that's exactly what I said I should remind you of. No matter anything that is going through your mind that is pure, remember it is wrong. Yeah, I know. Grandma, I know better. I'm just trying to help. I have seen the way you look at her often times. Oh. Son, please do not let your feelings cloud your sense of reasoning. Take my hand and let's go inside.
Hey, Rockstar. Hey, you super boy. What troubles you? Hmm, yeah, man. Johnny boy. Hmm? You shouldn't have come. Come on, son. Well, what is the matter? Hmm? Careful. You didn't come to sing me a lullaby. So I got worried. I decided to come and see you. No, don't worry yourself now. Are you sure? Hmm? I'm fine. Uh, 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 uh. I'm fine. Look, my dear. You don't have to blame yourself. <laughs> it's okay sometimes for one to be helpless. eh? Joe? But it's someone's life we're talking about here. But does she know about it? But we can make her see it. I, I feel really terrible about what she's going through. I mean, she's such a good person, kind-hearted, homely. Why do bad things happen to good people, Grandma? Because they don't know when to draw the boundaries. That is why they can take anything. What would you have done differently? Arrest that bastard. Eh? Yeah. And you think she will stand by you? Would you? Danny Love, she will deny you in front of the police and protect that scum instead. Ah. So, what do we do? We tell her that she deserves better. Be a friend. When the time comes, she will be the one to bring herself out of the mess. Opa. Baby girl. <laughs> Good night. Good Stay night, Danny boy. Me. Thank you. Love you. Good night, son. Love you more. All right, see you in the morning. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Are you pregnant? I ask again, are you pregnant? I don't know. You don't know what? Hmm? Let me remind you. When we got married, we agreed that children are off the table until the economic situation gets better. You only agreed. You say what? Nothing. What did you say? I didn't say anything. Oh. You better not. I hope you're not planning to bring a bastard into this house. You better praise no pregnancy. Just pray. There is some sickness. Maybe, maybe malaria or something. Edward, that's not fair. You're the only man I've slept with since we got married. If I'm pregnant, you're the father. If you're pregnant, you're a prostitute. It's that simple. Don't tell me what is fair and what is not. You will tell me what is fair. What will he do if he realizes he slept with me without protection? Will it be more trouble? Whatever happened, I'll keep the baby. If he doesn't remember this night, I won't tell him about it. Well, let's see if he the result. God knows how much I want a child of my own. this thing very good. I thought Nancy was better, but she's late again today. Danny boy, let her be. Moreover, you are here for just now. It's our time together. Eh? Of course, I know, baby girl. I'm just saying. That's Pamela girl. Granny, not, not now. I don't like her. I don't want her gene in any of my great grandbabies. Yes, Grandma. So, you won't propose, eh? Propose? I mean, we're not even dating. 
better. <laughs> well, I think she likes me, though. She doesn't. She doesn't, though. How do you know? I know her very well. She's a great pretender. Ah, uh Danny, -uh. don't go and start telling her that you like her. No. Good. What? What, 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 what is what? <laughs> really, we're just, we're just friends. Good. Let that friendship be a very distant one. I don't want to see her near you at all. Okay. Mm hmm Good. All right. Second leg. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> ah, thank you. You know, I, I need to see your grandma. I need to say hi to her. I've missed her so much. Oh. You remember how nice she was to me when we were dating, right? Well, that's fine. Um, <laughs> we can say yeah, that's not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. actually, Madame just took her medication, so she's asleep. Oh. I guess you see her when next you come. Huh? Hey. Okay. Uh, that reminds me, yeah, we went shopping and um, I saw this stuff and I thought it would fit you perfectly. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is very nice of you, sir. Thank you so much. But you didn't have to. Exactly. You didn't have to. No, it's nothing. It's nothing. Just take it as a thank you package for being so kind to Grandma. I mean, you've taken care of her like she's your own grandma. So, yeah, that's quite admirable. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. What was the meaning of that? Meaning of what? Of what you just did. I thought you got those things to surprise me. I don't understand. You already picked the things you wanted. You uh, yes, I, I picked the things I wanted. But I thought you, you picked those ones to surprise me when we get home. But you gave it to that, that house help, that, that rubbish girl. Don't call her that. Is she not a house help? Eh? Is she not a house help? Why, why are you defending her? You need to stop. She has done nothing to you. <laughs> I don't like that girl. I don't like anything about her. Deep down in my heart, I know that she is digging for something inside your pocket. Enough. And that's Stop it. Uh, wh why are you referring to her in that manner? I mean, do you know her? I know girls like that. I know her type and I know what she's capable of doing. Being, being a woman myself, I know what this scope. I know what this is. Pam, if you're going to keep being unreasonable, I would have to ask you to leave. You want to ask me to leave your house because of that house help? That rubbish! All she has done since she got here is be nice to you. I mean, why are you insinuating that she's a gold digger? Because she's definitely digging for something. Wait, let me understand something. What is this? Why are you all of a sudden acting like a jealous girlfriend? What do you mean by that? What I mean by that? I mean, we're just trying to be friends here, right? But you've been acting all jealous as if we've got something going on. Are you, are you trying to say that she's better than me? I'm not comparing anyone here. I'm just saying, be kind. Um, be nice. It wouldn't take you anything. I thought you said this girl is married. So why are you acting like her personal bodyguard? Abi, is there something you're not telling because me? Because she's a good person. She's been taking care of my grandma. She's kind. She's kind-hearted. She's sweet. I, beg, I, beg, I, beg. I, don't, I don't want to hear. I don't, I don't want to hear anything. I'll just sit here and wait 
for your grandma to wake up so I can see her to her before I leave. Suit yourself. Get you some water. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. the doctor. He said you need to rest a lot so as not to endanger yourself or the baby. Yeah. Um, I'll put a call through to Rita in the morning so that she can come and relieve you of your duties for, I mean, in the time being. I, I want to continue walking. You're, you're pregnant. Hmm? And see, it's, it's for your own good. Please, don't send me home. I, I'm not sending you home. You just need to rest as much as possible. I can, I can still walk. Okay, it's fine. Um. Just let me know when you're ready to leave. I'll, I'll drop you off. I don't want to bother you. No, no it's not a bother. I'll, um, I'll drop you. Okay. Lunch, you want to eat something? No, I'm fine. This doesn't feel good at all. Relieving her of her duties was the best thing to do. And sending her home? I'm sure there is a man out there waiting to hear the good news. You think so? Mm -hmm. I mean, she didn't seem to be very happy when I told her she'd have to go home. But you know, you cannot keep her here. Maybe I should go and talk to him. Huh? I mean, her husband. As what? Her employer. <laughs> ah, Danny boy. 
Yes, Granny. As her employer. Supposing the man turns around and accuses you of impregnating his wife, what will you do? What? You heard me. Sometimes people get into trouble by helping others. This is a mean world. Do what you can and let her do what she can. Okay, maybe I should just um, take her home then. Good. Make sure you drop her a few blocks from her house. Your kind nature should not be misinterpreted, my son. Chutiwa? Okay. Okay. Um, this is Adekule Street. Um, uh, right? Yes. Okay, what number is it? Number 14. Ah, uh, okay. Um, hope you don't mind if I drop you here. Why? It's just that, um, I... It's okay. I understand. I walk few more blocks. Thank you. Thank you for the ride and the gift. Um, Nancy. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. For what? But I cannot help. Look, I know that he's hurting you. I know that he's abusing you. I'm not stupid. I'm not blind, I see it. But I have questions now. What is it? Why do you still choose to stay? Staying in an abusive marriage is like suicide. You're putting your life at risk. You're putting his life at risk, even your child's life. One person would have to pay at least one person. It's like one day he flipped the switch and became someone I never knew. It was not always like this. It's that one day and it can end one day. You can meet today that day. Make your child the motive. Let your child be the motive for you to want to leave I mean you're stronger than this you can't let people abuse you emotionally physically psychologically because you love them I feel so broken you are not broken Nancy you're a strong woman hey 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 Nancy, you are a strong woman. You are kind-hearted. You are zealous. You are courageous. You are everything you don't even know you are yet. Don't ever let me go. It's not his choice. That's not his decision to make. It is yours. The question is, are you ready? Are you ready to go? You know what? I'm not even going to stay here and advise you to be courageous and be scared myself. 
I'm going to go and drop you at home. But one thing is, at every given moment, you have the power to say, things would not end this way. All right, good night. Who's the young man that dropped you? And where are those bags from? Are you going to answer or do you want me to force you? It's um it's Mr. Coca's grandson Daniel. He dropped me off and he gave me the bags. Hmm. So, I see. That's what you're doing now. Prostituting yourself for petty gifts. It would. The beating. I will beat you today. If you don't start talking. It's, it's nothing like that. There's nothing going on between us. So why is he buying you gifts? Expensive ones for that matter. It's nothing, he's just being nice. Oh, such a nice man. Are you pregnant? What? Did you check? I don't. I fainted today. Answer me. I don't feel well. So there's no child? There's... There's, there's a child. I went to the hospital. And the doctor... The doctor said I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. Whose child is it? Excuse me. You heard me. Who is responsible for that thing? Is it him? Who? The young man that dropped you. Edward, don't be ridiculous. <gasps> Edward, this is, this is our child. Our child, Edward. I've, ne I've never cheated on you. Please, Edward, please. Pay the child at least. Why should I? Give me one good reason why I should spare that thing. Because it's your child. What kind of human being are you? What kind of a man are you? You're so selfish and conceited! Are you crazy about getting my 
married to you. It's fine. It's fine if you don't want to take responsibility. But please spare my child and I. I'm tired. I'm tired of, of being abused by you. I'm not responsible for your problems, Edward. I'm not the reason you're miserable. Hell is definitely empty because the devil is standing right here in front of me. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. I've had enough. Okay, I'm done. Bring a bus into my house with one fool. I will kill you. Go and punish on that child. You are pregnant for who? For me? For 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 bastard. You cannot be done with me. You cannot be done. You cannot be done with me. I'm the one to be done with you. Hello, Nancy. Uh, hello. Are, are you okay? What's 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 wrong with your baby? Hello. Hey. Please help me, my dear. So sorry. So can you get Me? Who are you? What are you doing in my house? Oh, 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 oh. you are the one. I mean, I told you, don't push me. Let's go. Okay, Kakaya, I'll go. Bastard, slut. See, they just, just look at you. Idiot. This guy just will blow me. Yes, come in. Oh. Danny. Hey, did I wake you? No, dear. After calling me that you are in the hospital, I couldn't sleep anymore. How is she? What did the doctor say? Come, it is bad. It is really bad. She has bruises all over her body. Broken ribs. She lost a baby. She's been going through this for so long now. So long. Broken finger that didn't heal properly. Broken wrist. Like, why? She's been going through a lot. Oh my God. What a monster. Eh? She's... She's admitted. She's going to be in the hospital for a couple of days, if not weeks. Depending on how fast she recuperates. Oh, poor thing. It's just bad. 
meet you and raise that bastard in the morning. So I'm going to make him pay. Why? She should do. What? Danny? You know, I had to go to the house. But I asked you to drop up some blocks. I know, I know, but she can't keep running from him forever. She's already terrified by him. She needs to break free. <sighs> but remember, anything that you are doing, make sure you consider her feelings and all other things. Somebody has to fix this mess. Everybody can keep running away from it. I want to fix it. Karen, you did not raise a weak man. You raised a real man. Let me fix this. Okay, son. But be careful. Please. Let you rest eh? You should sleep now. Make sure you kick that man's ass. Huh? I'll do my best. <laughs> Good night. I love you, okay? Love you more, dear. Okay. Good night. night. Good night. Hey. Hi. Pamela, you're here. Yeah, I've been waiting for you for like one hour now. Where are you coming from? Please, not now. There you go. Thank you. Babe, I'm talking to you. What is going on? I am not your babe. Stop calling me that. Why are you yelling at me? Are you yelling at me because, because of this of this thing here? Pamela, listen. I don't have time for this. Nancy really needs to rest, okay? Um, I'll, I'll just go to the room. Yes, go to the room. Go to the room because I need to speak to Daniel alone. You're going nowhere. You stay here. In fact, maybe I need to set things straight. Pamela, I am not your boyfriend. We're not an item. I mean, you're the one who left me when I left the country for the first time, right? Why are you back here now trying to claim that we're good? We're not good. Honey, what are you saying? I thought I thought we've been good this past week. Well, because I thought we could be friends. Yes, but I was mistaken. What? Yes. We can't even be friends. Pamela, you are rude. You're rude. You're so full of yourself. You're manipulative. You're everything I don't want in my life. So maybe you should just leave. Tana, you are asking me to leave your house yes. because of this thing here. Um, Daniel, I'll just go take a nap inside of her. Yes, get out! How many times have I told you to stop addressing her in that manner? How many times? Daniel, so you'd rather have an affair with a married woman than with I who loves you? Regret this. Hey, 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 take this with you. Mm. 
really sorry. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. You really shouldn't have seen that. No, it's okay. Um, I'm sorry. It's okay, I understand. Grandma was right. I shouldn't have let her back into my life in the first place. That's fine, it's fine. Not to know where yourself about it, okay? Yeah. Um, you need as much rest as possible. Um, when you have rested enough, there'll, there's something I need to talk to you about. Okay. Do you want something to drink, Ryan? No, nothing there. I'm okay. I just love the program on the television. My dear. You are awake. Good evening, ma. Good evening, blessed child. How are you feeling now? I feel a little better. All oh, thanks to Daniel. Oh. I'm sorry. Sorry. You didn't do anything. Exactly. I didn't do anything. I suspected it was your husband inflicting all those wounds on you. But I felt it's none of my business because you weren't willing to discuss it with anybody. <sighs> Look at where it has escalated to now. Sincerely, my dear. I'm sorry. You didn't have to be sorry. I'm to be blamed. For waiting this long before speaking up. No, no, it's fine. It's fine, okay? We are here for you. Thank you. My love, you can stay as long as you want in this house until you get back to your feet, okay? So, um, what do you want to do now? I mean, he's back home since you don't intend to press charges. I know you're not happy because I don't want to press charges. No, no, it's fine. It's your decision to make. I just want a divorce. I just want to cut ties with him. And end this marriage. Okay. Um, that shouldn't be so difficult. I mean, I have a friend who's a divorce lawyer. I'll give him a call and then we can go see him tomorrow. Daniel, thank you so much. No, 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 that's fine. I don't know if I would have survived this without you. You're family. Oh, yes, my dear, you are family. You can stay here as long as you want until you get back to your feet, okay? Thank you so much, ma. Thank you. Good day, sir. My name is Sandra Okoye, a human rights activist. Here with me is Inspector Moses. Good day. Your wife is here to get the rest of her things. So we're here to make sure nothing goes wrong.
You need help? Hey, hey, let me let me help you with that. Thank you. It's just this one? Yeah, no. It's okay. okay. Come back later for other personal items. These are divorce papers. You should sign them. I had high hopes for us. But I never knew. You were a wolf in sheep's clothing. And I hate myself for not seeing you for what you truly are. Whatever you're looking for, I hope you find it. Granny, what are you laughing? You are behaving like a love struck teenager. How? Hmm. Like, like, seriously. <laughs> You're just being overly dramatic. Oh, no, no, no. No, dear son. You promised me that you are coming to spend your vacation with me. Which is what I'm doing. <laughs> what? You spend almost half of your time. Either with her or thinking That's not about true. Her. That's not true. <laughs> that is the truth, my dear. Granny might be old, but she is not blind nor senile. Anyway, 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 the truth be told. I need a wife and great grandbabies. And here I was thinking I have successfully distracted you from that. Oh, in your dreams. I must have done a terrible job at it. Mm. <laughs> your dreams, my dear. <laughs> anyway, half the problem has been solved. How do you mean? Hmm. A wife has been found. <laughs> I'll bet an official. But dear, if you should play your game very well, <laughs> well, 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 you have to give her time. Time to recover. Mm. You know, you'll be going back in two weeks' time. Before you come back, her divorce would have been officially completed. Make sure that when you leave, you find time to come back early enough to manage everything. You seem to have your plan all Oh, no, you know grandma. Mm, yeah, you all planned out, right? Yeah, grandma right? is always there. Right. Uh, ba -bam -bam -bam. Okay. 
Danny boy. Yes, Grandma. I am going to give you a very serious warning. You see, if you miss this opportunity, huh? Mm. And when I die, be sure that I am coming back to come and torment you. Just say it. Just admit it. You cannot live without me. Eh, uh, whatever. <laughs> Looks like you have the plan all started out. It's like a draft. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, get me water. You want some water? Mm. Okay. Mm. <laughs> granny, granny, mm. granny. babies. Bye. Oh, no, not again. All of my. Mm -hmm. Solve the problem for me. Granny will be happy. Ten, 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 ten. Come on, don't miss me so much. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, uh, uh, don't forget to call always and take very good care of yourself. Of oh. course, you know I would. Hmm? Mm. 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 Take care of yourself, okay? Yeah, I will. Better than you. Mm. 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 <laughs> hey. Let me go back to my room so that I will leave both of you to say good farewell to each other. Eh? Okay. Mm. Mm. No, no, no. Don't don't bother yourself. Don't worry, my dear. I will manage. Grandma, thank you so much for what everything. I miss you. Miss you too. All right. <laughs> um, I guess. Um, I guess we'll keep in touch. Yeah. So I spoke to Grandma already. You already know that you're family, so you can keep living here for as long as you want. No need to go and start looking for an apartment. I don't want to inconvenience anyone. No, 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 no. It's no inconvenience. Okay? Okay. And um, you let me know when the divorce is final, right? Yeah. Because to be honest, I want to woo you. What? You heard me. Nancy, you you captured my heart from the first day I set my eyes on you. And um I talked myself out of it because we we're married. Um, once the divorce is done, let me know. I want to make you fall. I wish I met you years ago. Before you... It's fine. Please, wait for me. Okay? Wait for me. Thank you for everything you did for me. I enjoyed doing everything for you. Alright? I... I think you should go so you, <laughs> you don't miss your flight because of traffic. Are you chasing me now? <laughs> no. A hug? hesitate to call me if you need anything. Any help at all. Okay. I just said come see me off to the airport, but it's okay. <laughs> you need to stay with grandma, right? Alright, bye. Okay. <laughs> 